The Silicon Power P34A80-1TB is an M.2 SSD that uses a PCIe Express x 4 3.0 NVMe connection. Not only that, but this SSD is using a silicon motion controller and TLC flash memory chips. The P34A80 1TB is available for purchase for around 135 US dollars or euros, but of course that can change based on the availability of the product and your location of purchase. It is also worth noting that this SSD is available in different storage capacities, which includes 256GB, 512, 1TB and 2TB. The one in this review is the middle of the road 1TB variant, which will be the choice for many as 2TB drives are still too high priced for many people. The Silicon Power A80 1TB has a simple design, as is the case for most Silicon Power SSDs. They are made to perform, not to look good. It's not like you are going to be looking at it anyway, as many motherboards have heatsinks that will cover the M.2 SSDs installed in your system. Anyway, this SSD has a dark blue heatsink with a glossy label applied on the front side. This label is not actually just a label, it has a thin layer of metal on the underside which acts like a small heatsink. In addition to that, the A80 1TB has the standard 2280 form factor, which means that the SSD has a length of 80mm and a width of just 22mm. The packaging of this drive is very basic, as it offers minimum protection for the drive, as the SSD is held in place by a hard plastic shell and nothing else. There are also no accessories to be seen, so what you're paying is just the drive and that's it. And now, with the label removed, we get to see what components are used to power the P340A80 1TB and we start with the centerpiece, quite literally. This is a silicon motion controller, the SM2263ENG model to be exact. This is an 8-channel flash controller which is brand new to the market and has been used before in other high-end M.2 SSDs, so so far we're looking good. The memory chips use the TLC flash technology and have the model number 29F02T2ANCTJ1. These are made by Intel and are the standard 64 layer 3D NAND TLC memory chips. These memory chips are known to not only perform really good, but also to offer a good reliability, which is what we should be looking for in a high storage capacity SSD. The P34A80 1TB uses two DDR4 RAM chips for its 1GB storage cache. These memory chips are made by Spectec, which is actually a company owned by Micron, thus these chips are actually made by Micron and not someone else. Both chips have the model number PPE83-075E. The installation of an M.2 SSD is one of the simplest things you can do with a computer, as you essentially just insert the SSD into the M.2 socket of your motherboard and it goes in in only one way, so you cannot really mess it up. And then just secure the back part of the SSD with the included screws and you're done. No more cables for data or power needed, this SSD is installed straight into the motherboard. The first test with this SSD is a simple file copy test. We have a folder which has a total file size of around 92GB of raw data, and we copy it on the same drive, in this case the SSD, and here we get to see the actual speed of the drive when used on a daily basis. It's interesting to see how the speed dips from 900MB per second to close to 600MB per second. This is of course the point where the cache of the drive is filled up and it can't keep up with the storage demands of the drive. In fact, with this test, you can literally see the right bursts with the cache trying to maintain a constant speed. The first synthetic test is using the Crystal Disk Mark 8 benchmark. Crystal Disk Mark is the go-to test for all storage devices, hard drives, SATA SSDs, SD cards, you name it. And in this test, the Silicon Power A80 1TB is on the third position, right behind the Crucial P1 1TB and the almighty Samsung 970 EVO. And the same can be said for the writing segment of this benchmark, although here the Silicon Power US 71TB takes the lead, as it is, after all, a PCIe 4 SSD. The next test is using the Ato Disk Benchmark software. This benchmark uses different transfer sizes to test the performance of your storage device. It is particularly good for these types of SSDs, which have large capacities, as some SSDs might perform really well with smaller data chunks, but perform really worse 
with large file transfers. And in this test, the Silicon Power P340A80 is on the second position in our graph when we talk about the read performance, right behind the Sabrent Rocket Q 2TB and right ahead of the Silicon Power US 71TB. On the writing segment, things are looking slightly different as the Silicon Power A80 1TB is on the fourth place behind the Crucial P1 and behind the Silicon Power US 70. While results vary in these benchmarks, we can already see that the Silicon Power P34 A80 1TB delivers a great performance and we're not really done, as the final test is yet again a real-world test that is meant to present the performance of the tested drive in a real-world scenario. And in this case, it's a video game, Shadow of the Tomb Raider to be exact. This game is running in DirectX 12 mode and in 1080p with all the settings turned to their maximum values, pure hair set to low and vertical synchronization disabled. This game is used to measure the loading time required to load a game level and in this test, the Silicon Power P34A80 1TB is on the lower scale of the graphs, with a total time required of 20.8 seconds to complete the game loading time. This places this SSD next to the Crucial P1 and the Crucial MX500, which is a SATA-based drive. Finally, when it comes to the temperature, the Silicon Power P34A80 1TB did all right, just all right with an average temperature of 70 degrees Celsius, with the ambient temperature at a steady 26 degrees Celsius. The Silicon Power P34 A80 1TB is a good NVMe SSD. It has a good performance in most scenarios and remains cool even under load. This SSD is also priced lower than the competition, with an average price tag of 135 US dollars or euros for the 1TB variant. The real-life performance is good, but we can see that the drive has its limitation, mostly thanks to its cache that, when filled, it will drop the SSD speed, sometimes even close to half. However, once the cache is emptied, the speed goes back up to 1GB per second of pure file transfer. The thermal performance is alright for the most part, especially since this SSD has no dedicated heatsink. However, once the thermal throttling point is reached at around 75 degrees Celsius, well then, the speed is dropped to a crawl. The Silicon Power P34A80 1TB is good, and more than that, it's affordable, which in a market that sort of gives us hints of price increases, it's a welcome thing. The performance of the drive is good in both daily usage and also in benchmarks. What you need to take into consideration with this SSD is though, that you will most likely need a heatsink for it, unless you want your SSD to work with a temperature that is very close to the thermal throttling point. If you like this review, then you may consider subscribing for more, and also if you want to support the channel in a direct way, then in the description below you will find both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.